Hi, I'm Rochelle Travers, and this is The Standard's Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the uncontrolled satellite heading towards Earth. Now, let's get into it. Is there a ninth planet in our solar system? It's a question that scientists have been trying to get to the bottom of for years, but now they're one step closer to finding out the answer. Astronomers have narrowed down the location where an elusive planet may be hiding, and it's a discovery that could shed more light on the evolution of our solar system. Researchers have previously observed that some objects in the solar system, including some well beyond the orbit of the dwarf planet Pluto, behave as if they're being pulled around by something yet unseen which is likely to be another planet. The findings are published in a yet-to-be peer-reviewed study by scientists including those from the California Institute of Technology, who analyzed data from Hawaii's Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System. In other space-related news, an uncontrolled satellite is expected to hurtle through the Earth's atmosphere on Wednesday morning. ERS-2 was originally launched 30 years ago and is expected to break up into tiny pieces on re-entry, the majority of which will burn up. The European Space Agency says that because the re-entry is natural and not controlled by humans, it's impossible to predict exactly when and where it will happen. They went on to say that some fragments could make it to Earth, but most will likely fall into the ocean, and risks associated with satellite re-entries are very low. Now, three winds in the Atlantic jet stream pushed some commercial planes to supersonic speeds over the weekend. According to the US National Weather Service, a Virgin Atlantic passenger plane traveling from Washington to London reached nearly 800 miles per hour, which is faster than the speed of sound. Two other planes, including one from New Jersey's Newark Airport to Lisbon, reached speeds of 835 miles per hour. The Atlantic jet stream is a fast and narrow current of air flowing from west to east, encircling the globe, and is widely used by planes traveling east from North America to cut down on their travel times and fuel use. It usually has winds traveling at speeds close to 110 miles per hour, but is known to intensify at times, especially during winter months. A study has found that older adults exposed to the herpes virus, behind the common cold sore, may see a doubling of their dementia risk. The research from Uppsala University in Sweden and published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease is the latest to indicate that some types of viral infection play a yet unidentified role in further cognitive decline. Herpes simplex virus type 1, or HSV1, is a common infection behind oral sores and is carried by nearly 3.7 billion people across the world, under the age of 50, while dementia affects nearly 55 billion people. The HSV1 infection is lifelong, but symptoms may come and go over different periods and many people may never exhibit any signs they were infected at any point in their lives. Looks like the term bird brain might not be the insult we thought it was. That's the sound of the oriental pied hornbill, a tropical bird from Southeast Asia which has baffled scientists with its intelligence. They're capable of scoring as highly as primates in cognitive tests, and a new study published in the journal Biology Letters showed the birds are capable of understanding object permanence, the idea that things continue to exist even when they're out of sight. Experts say the ability to mentally picture objects even when they're out of sight has played an important role in the survival and evolution of both humans and primates. A study suggests that women who exercise regularly have a significantly lower risk of an early death from heart attacks or other events compared to men, even when they put in less effort. Data from more than 400,000 US adults spanning two decades has shown women who engaged in physical activity were 24% less likely to experience death from any cause, compared to those who did not, while men were 15% less likely. The researchers from the Smith Heart Institute at Cedar sinai in California speculate there may be a few reasons for these differences in outcomes, one of them being variations in anatomy and physiology. For example, the team said men generally have increased lung capacity, larger hearts, more lean body mass and a greater proportion of fast twitch muscle fibers, which generate high levels of force and power, compared to women. Hence, women often put in more effort to perform the same level of exercise as men. Let's go to the ads. Coming up, a prolific cyber gang is disrupted, and why us Brits have over 500 words meaning drunk. To stay up to date with all the latest tech and science news, just hit follow during the break. Welcome back. Nintendo fans, we could find out tomorrow which Xbox games are coming to the Switch. 
there's a direct partner showcase happening on Wednesday the 21st of February at 2pm UK time on YouTube, which will focus on third-party games for around 25 minutes. There's online speculation that the four Xbox games coming to the Nintendo Switch console will be revealed, but nothing has been confirmed. However, it's been reported by The Verge that the four Xbox titles going to the PS5 are Hi-Fi Rush, Pentiment, Sea of Thieves and Grounded. Lockbit, a prolific cybercrime gang, has been disrupted by a joint UK, US and EU operation. A post on the gang's extortion website on Monday said the site is now under control of the National Crime Agency of the UK, working in close cooperation with the FBI and the International Law Enforcement Task Force Operation Kronos. A representative for Lockbit posted messages on an encrypted messaging app saying it had backup servers not affected by the law enforcement action. And finally trolleyed, car parked, gazeboed, cabbaged. Now, if you're not British, then you probably have no idea what I just said there, but believe it or not, they're all synonyms for the word drunk. In fact, linguistic researchers have found that us Brits have a whopping 546 words meaning drunk, also known as drunkenims. And many of them are basically any noun transformed by putting ed on the end. The study published in the yearbook of the German Cognitive Linguistics Association found that English speakers regularly use a range of alternative words for drunk. And it may be down to our deeply rooted culture of social drinking and our humour because the alternatives often have nothing to do with the activity. The research found that by the time Brits reach adulthood, most have experienced so many different drunkenims that it allows them to recognise even unknown words ending in ed as meaning drunk in many contexts. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Standard Podcast for all the latest news and analysis. Tech and Science Daily will be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.